Hi, I'm Pat with Microsun Lamps, and today we're going to convert your lamp to a Microsun lamp. Um, not all lamps can be converted to a Microsun lamp. In order for your lamp to be converted, you must have the ability to route the wire through the rod to the bottom and have adequate space for uh, the wiring. Also, the base of your lamp must be large enough to support the Microsun gear pack. You can consult our instruction manual for further details. Some of the tools you might need are a flathead screwdriver, Phillips screwdriver, side cutters, um, some wire strippers, a 9 16th inch wrench, and a half inch wrench. And right, now we're ready to disassemble your lamp. The first step is going to be to make sure that it's unplugged from the power source. And then you just remove your finial and your shade, and we're just gonna set these off to the side. Now we're gonna unscrew your bulb and remove your heart. You can do this just by squeezing in. All right. And then just gonna set it on a nice flat surface. And then I'm gonna remove the felt. Might be a little bit tricky. Now it is time to remove the socket up here. So we're just going to loosen it. There should either be a uh, Phillips head screw, a flat head, or in this case, it's just screwed on there. So we're just going to just cut that off. Now we're going to take your side cutters. We're going to cut the crimps loose here in the bottom. If it has them, or just cut the wire in half if it's there. And then you can just remove that. Now it's time to open up your Microsun conversion kit. Everything you need should be included in there. Your kit will include the following items. We're going to have detailed instructions, adhesive backed felt, Microsun gear pack, your two LEDs, the Microsun bulb, a replacement cord, and then the wire nuts. Now you won't need all of the following items, but we do have a replacement nipple, an eighth inch IPS lock washer, and jam nut. And then we also have the quarter inch IPS lock washer and nut. These are reducing necks. In case you have a quarter inch rod, you might need to put those in so that our gear pack will screw down onto the replacement nipple. And then you also have a brass, a nickel, and an antique brass check ring. And we also include a two millimeter Allen wrench and a set screw for the gear pack. Now it's time to install your Microsun gear pack. Now for this lamp, we're going to need the nickel check ring. So I'm gonna take this and place this on first before wiring the lamp. And then I'm gonna take my cable, stretch it out, and we're just gonna feed it through. We're gonna do this gently so that we don't mess up the sheathing on the wire. Once you get it through to the other side, it helps to pull from from the back end here as you push through. Okay. Now we're gonna align that check ring again and then we're gonna rotate the gear pack in a clockwise motion. It should go on very easily if it doesn't, um, you might want to back it off and then try again. 
So we don't want to strip the threads. Okay. And now we're going to make sure when you line it up, you want to have the set screw line up with the cord hole in the back so that the switches on your Microsun gear pack are facing forwards on your lamp. Now it's time to wire up your lamp. The first step is to take your side cutters. You're gonna cut the gear pack wiring with four to six inches of excess. That way you have plenty of room to wire it. Now you're gonna take your side cutters again and you're gonna carefully cut in between the two wires. And then gently pull them apart. Again, if you meet some resistance here, try to cut it again. That way you get it exactly in the middle. Should pull apart fairly easily. Now you're gonna take your wire strippers. We're gonna use the 14 gauge mark on here and we're gonna strip off about a half inch of the sheathing. Then you're gonna take the cord that we provide for you. We're gonna wire it through the cord hole. Again, leave about four to six inches. Then we're gonna tie a simple knot on here. and these should just pull apart very easily as well. Okay, now it's time to apply your wire nuts. Now we are going to, there should be grooves on one set of wire, and then the other one should be smooth. You're gonna take the two smooth ones, and if you can't feel the difference, you can always use your nail and check to see if there's any ridges on it. So you're gonna take the two smooth wires, you're gonna twist them together in a clockwise motion. And then grab your wire nut, and you're gonna twist that as well. And I always give it a little bit tug to make sure that it doesn't come off. Now that we have that one secured, we're gonna take the remaining two wires. And we're gonna do the same thing. Now it's time to cut your felt. So you're gonna just simply trace around your lamp body. I like to use a pencil just in case I make a mistake. And we're gonna move the lamp off to the side. You're gonna take a pair of scissors and make sure you cut on the inside of the, lamp, of the line. That way, the felt isn't showing on the outside of your lamp. Now that you've cut your felt, you can remove the backing from it. And then carefully apply it to where none of it's going past the edge of your lamp. Now we're going to make sure that the gear pack is properly aligned with the switches to the front and the set screw aligned with your cord hole. And then we're gonna lay it back down on its side and we're gonna put the set screw in. You're gonna take the Allen wrench that we provide and just gently twist in a clockwise motion. If you do meet any resistance again, just make sure to back it up and then go back in. Because it should go in very easily. Now it's time to test your lamp. So we're gonna take the bulbs that we provide. You have your Microsun bulb, it's gonna go in the center socket. And then your two LEDs go in the side sockets. Put 
part back on. And lastly, we'll put your finial. Now our cord does have a ground and the hot wire, so make sure you plug the ground into the left there. And then we're going to flip on both the switches in the front. And it's going to take a minute for your microsound bulb to turn on. It might flicker for the first minute or so. That's it.